Welcome back to TV48 Update. I'm your host, Catherine Pugh. I'm here with Dr. Gregory Ellis, and we're talking about this whole scam on carbohydrates. And let me tell you what I've learned so far. Carbohydrates add those fat, adds fat to your body. So the low carbohydrate idea is not a bad idea. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. And, um, but we burn fat. Our body prefers to burn, no, and we can burn carbs, we but we burn, prefer to burn fat. But our body prefers to so burn. So we want to set it up to burn that fat. Right, so we want to set it up to burn that fat. <laughs> and then the other point is that the fat, once it gets into your fat tissue, mm -hmm. when you eat carbs, glucose goes into the blood, insulin comes out of the pancreas. Insulin helps drive some of that carb, the bulk of that carb, into mm -hmm. your body fat where it's converted to fat. Mm -hmm. primary thing insulin does is stops the fat from coming out of your fat cell. Mm -hmm. Is that how people get uh, those tires and things? Well, it's part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the lack of exercise. It's, it's a whole story. It's a whole story, and right. To just focus ourselves solely on diet, which is where this country's at right now, mm -hmm. as if diet controls everything, right. is, is one of the most crucial mistakes we're making. But we've moved making. away from focusing on exercise. Because, right. I mean, there was a time when you really focused on exercise, even in the schools. I mean, right. schools have gotten away from exercise sure. programs for our young people, so they don't have it in the schools anymore mm -hmm. either. So we've really moved away yep. from that. And then this whole thing with the diet composition, mm -hmm. as if that's where the power is, mm -hmm. has captivated everyone. And it's just false to invest oneself so much in that idea that it matters. So the insulin stops the fat from coming out of your fat cell. Mm -hmm. So if you're eating a lot of carbs, you can't get to the fat on your body. Mm -hmm. The only way you can get to it is if you reduce your calories enough or exercise a lot, mm -hmm. creating more of an imbalance. So that fat has to come out in spite of the fact that the insulin's got the brakes on your fat release. Oh, okay. So that's what the carbohydrates do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They get converted to fat, and then the insulin that comes from eating the carbs prevents you from getting the fat on your body. And diabetics, overweight people are, are classic examples of this. People mm -hmm. who are consuming a lot of carbohydrates, they're just getting fatter and fatter and fatter by the year. Mm -hmm. They go We've on a actually, diet. our country has actually gotten fat. Oh, of course. You know, I've heard. So I, I think I heard statistics like the average woman now wears a size 12 or 14. <laughs> it's scary. Mm -hmm. What's going on? And mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be. Right. Uh, but the information people need to solve the problem is not out there. Mm -hmm. All that's out there is ideas and marketing hype, mm -hmm. and that just keeps the confusion going. But let, let's let's do this too because this is another book that you've written. There is no fountain of youth. But here's how you can live 10, 20, even 30 years longer because adding fat to your body also, I would predict, shortens your, your life. Sure. So tell us about this book as well. I've been interested in health besides weight control mm -hmm. all of my life. And, and let me remind the, our folks out there that you said that you were actually an overweight child. Very overweight, mm -hmm. suffering from a lot of diseases. And mm -hmm. I wanted to solve those problems. So I've had this lifelong pursuit of interest in this whole subject. Now, I came to be aware that a lot of what's going on in modern medicine does not work. So I moved away. Now you just scared a whole lot of other people <laughs> out there. <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to get this straight. So I moved away from a lot of the things that modern medicine does. In fact, the last uh, drug I took was a, uh, age 22. I haven't taken a drug since age 22. Okay. And uh, I started studying other healthcare subjects and other healthcare philosophies, and I learned of some very powerful things. So within the context of what I've done in that area and what I've done with exercise and what I've done with diet, I was able to outline my own anti-aging strategies. Mm -hmm. And you point out there is no fountain of youth, however. No, but you can, but you can increase your longevity, mm -hmm. living up to your expected lifespan. Mm -hmm. And there's some evidence to indicate that calorie restriction has the ability to actually increase your lifespan, okay. moving beyond. Now, if anybody wants to, I don't know if people want to do it. They may mm -hmm. not care, you know, <laughs> right. but it's, it's of interest. And certainly, I think one should have the power to increase their quality of life as yeah, long as they're here. Because I say, people are, are living longer, but the quality of life is, is not there. Right, right because mm -hmm. there's... They're, Alzheimer's. They're, or... Yeah, we're suffering from a, a rash of chronic disease, mm -hmm. and it's getting worse all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think pollution's contributing to that. I think medical drugs are contributing to it. I think the, the high carb diet's contributing to it. And the lack of exercise is contributing to it. Overweight, all of these things are decreasing our quality of life. So 
not having not having those things happen to you is part of my anti aging strategy. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're putting the right things in our bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that we can live not only live longer, but live healthier at the same yeah. time. Yeah, and yeah, we're we're just caught up with so much mythology. Uh, one of the strongest factors in preventing heart attacks is the consumption of alcohol. Mm -hmm. oh, we know that. That's the topic we want to talk about <laughs> when we get back, okay? Stay with us. You're watching TV 48 Update. I'm your host, Catherine Pugh. We're talking with Dr. Ellis, and we're talking about how to get your diet straight, or at least your eating habits straight. And don't forget you got to exercise, too. We'll be right back.